to Katie's Playtime. So today, yes, you guessed it, I'm gonna make some gummy bears. I also would like to thank all of my subscribers out there for asking me to make gummy bears. I can't believe how many of you asked for this. So I have put together a little recipe for you and hopefully you enjoy it. So let's get started, woohoo! You know what, it's quite simple to make. You only need some glucose syrup or corn syrup. In Australia, glucose syrup is an alternative to corn syrup. So I've got that, I've got some water, I've got some jelly crystals, so I've got three different flavors, depending on what flavor you want. I've got orange, raspberry, and I've also got lime. And you also need some gelatin. If you would like some sour lollies, you need to make sure that you've got some citric acid and some caster sugar. So make sure that you mix the caster sugar and the citric acid together like I have here. And basically what that will do is give it that sour taste on the outside of the lolly. If you put more citric acid in than caster sugar, then it's going to taste really, really sour. Like you're, you're gonna be like, Ugh. But um, what I've done is I've mixed more caster sugar than citric acid, just so it's not too intense. But totally up to you on what you wanna make. So the things that you need to make sure you have is some measuring cups. Um, I've got a half a cup and a quarter of a cup. I also have a tablespoon handy. And I've also got a mixing spoon. Now I'm using a plastic one. You can use plastic or wooden spoon. I don't recommend anything metal because the metal spoon does heat up and then it just, it just makes everything hotter inside the bowl. So make sure it's plastic or it's um, a wooden spoon. Also have a saucepan because we're gonna go over to the cooker and this activity is really, really hot. So we are dealing with sugar and when sugar heats up, you can burn yourself. So just make sure you've got someone to watch over you or help you with this activity if you can. You also need some silicon mold. Let's start making gummy bears, woo! <laughs> okay, so the first thing you need to do is put half of a cup of water in your bowl and make sure it's really cold because you don't want any warm water to start off with. So using your water and your half measuring cup, we're going to put half a cup of water in your bowl. The next thing you need to do is get your corn syrup or your glucose syrup. Now you're gonna need one quarter or one fourth of a cup of corn syrup or glucose syrup. That's quite thick. So once you've done that, you now need to mix the water and the glucose syrup or the corn syrup together to make sure it's all nice and clear and it's really, really well mixed. So as you can see, it's quite thick, that corn syrup. So just nicely mix it. So just keep mixing it because it will gradually start to mix in well with the water. Don't give up, just keep on going because you don't want it to be lumpy. So now you can see I've mixed all my corn syrup in with the water so it's nice and clear and there's no lumpy bits. The next step you need to do is to put two tablespoons of your gelatin and mix it in well. It's really important not to put it on the heat at the moment just so it doesn't go too lumpy. And so just keep on mixing until all the lumps disappear and they will. So it should be nice and smooth, just like what you can see here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna put our jelly crystals in and that's gonna give you color and it's gonna give you flavor as well. So I know you all know my favorite color is pink, but hey, you know what I think we need to change and I reckon that we should use lime. So I've got my lime jelly crystals here and I'm sure they're gonna taste amazing. So let's pop them in and see what we get. Now we're gonna use a whole sachet for this. In it goes. And just mix that in. Oh, it smells amazing. And so there's my green mix. Now while I'm mixing it, I can feel the grains of sugar from the jelly crystals. So what we're gonna do now is go over to the stove and we're going to put it on low heat. And this is the part where I would love you to have some guidance 
because I would really, really be upset if you did hurt yourself. So jelly crystals are sugar and you can burn yourself when they do heat up. So just make sure someone's with you near the stove or um, look, if you know how to do it on your own, that is totally cool, but it's always good to have someone with you anyway. So come with me and let's go to my stove. Woo! So I've put my gas on for a low heat, as you can see there, and then I'm gonna put it on top. And we're just gonna keep on mixing to make sure it doesn't burn. Okay, so now let's go over to where we were sitting and let's fill our molds with our green gummy bear mix. Okay, so I'm back to where I'm sitting and I've brought my nice little gummy bear mix with me. So just be really careful for this part again because it's gonna be really hot. And with two teaspoons, I'm gonna fill my molds. And I just find using a teaspoon, it just stops me from using my fingers and it's away from my hands. And so you've got to work really fast because it does start to set quite quickly. You can see it's starting to go stringy and that means it's starting to set. So what you need to do now is you need to pop everything in hot, like warm water, hot water, just to make sure that all the sugar gets off your pan. And we'll now leave them to cool in room temperature and that's going to make sure that they won't be too hot to put in our fridge. So now I've placed them on a tray and it's now gonna go in my fridge and I'll let you know when they're all ready. Okay, so my green lime ones are ready to go. So I'm going to get my first one and you've just got to basically push it out of the mold. And that's why it's better if you use the silicon molds. Just push it out and it will be really sticky to begin with. Oh wow, that looks great. And so depending on whether you want sour or sweet. So I'm just going to roll it in sweet to begin with, which is just caster sugar and pop that aside. And we're going to do that again. Now you don't have to roll it in anything. Um, if you don't, it will just be sticky. So sour, original, sweet. So you can see that they're quite sticky. So what I'm gonna do is just roll them in some icing sugar, just like this. And it will look really coated, but then if you just give it a nice tap and roll it, you'll see that it comes out like normal jellies. And then that way, it just prevents it from sticking to everything. Make sure your hands are clean when you do this, because people are gonna eat it. Okay, so my orange ones are now ready. So let's see what I've got. And again, just silicon is so much better. Oh my gosh, it's like a all right, so let's pop that in some icing sugar and give it a nice roll. And wow, I've got myself a jelly star. Ah, oh, that looks so cool. Okay, so now my pink ones are ready, and so let's get them out of the mold. And just so you know, they have set in 20 minutes from putting them in the mold, so that's quite quick. So just keep your eye on them, um, and then that way you'll be able to enjoy your nice gummies earlier than you think. So how's the song go? Roll, 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 do -do -do -do. roll, roll, roll. Roll your jellies, woo! Roll your gummies, woo! <laughs> 
Okay, so here they are everyone and thank you so much to all my subscribers for asking me to make gummies. So I've made gummies of all sorts with sugar topping, just normal gummies and our sour topping. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you to all my subscribers. I love you all so much. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <gasps> Wait, you can't go yet. I haven't done the taste test up. Okay, so first I'll do the sugary green. Ready? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Chewy. That's gummy. Okay, now we'll go the plain. Sorry, piglet. Mmm. Orangey. Now, and I know you're all waiting for it. I know it. The sour ones! Ah! Okay, are we ready? Let's go this one. Looks a bit sour to me. Okay, ready? It's so good. Thank you so much again. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>